Good morning, ladies and gents. Everyone's doing well out there in the internet world, YouTube land. I just want to go up with a couple different options here for you and kind of just lay a few things out. Maybe get a chance for you to set, set your eyes on a few different components here. Um, many people really don't know what to do or have heard good or bad things here about the Explore 48 forks. Uh, so we just want to break some stuff down here and give you some step one and then stage one, two, and three options here for your Explore 48 forks. So 2017 plus KTM, XEW, EXEF, and also your Husky TEFE, as well as the new 21 plus Gas Gas EC uh, tuned four strokes there. So basically what we have here, um, step one, by and far, just with anything, right? You need to get a baseline for something, uh, definitely just go ahead and spring it for your weight. So you got to make sure, I mean, these things are topped out at 187 pounds with gear. So if you're not sure, don't guess, put all your gear on or grab it in your arms, count back full of water, whatever it is, and then go ahead and step on the bathroom scale and just figure out how much you weigh with gear because that is going to be paramount. Everyone carries different amounts of gear and you'd be surprised, but usually the average is about 25 pounds for an off-road guy. So, spring it for your weight, get the sag set, take it for a ride, see what you think. You know, I think your average guy doing average things, just trail riding, plonking around on this thing, aren't going to have too much of a problem with it. Uh, we don't get a ton of complaints. Uh, how, however, um, some of the most common complaints, especially if you're over the weight and you're still riding on the stock springs are, you know, it's going to blow through the stroke. It's going to wash out easily. The shock is going to buck on logs and square edges. It's because of the PDS design, which is inherent if you are undersprung. Um, it could feel springy or bouncy, it deflects. Um, it, you know, it's not going to hold a line. All of those things. Um, you know, you may be able to cure a lot of them with just springing it for your weight so that's going to be huge there um, and then stage one is going to be a revalve after you've sprung it and so that's going to be 195 plus consumables fluids and bushings and seals if needed obviously that stuff isn't going to be needed on a brand new bike uh, i mean we're not going to save your old oil we're not into that business so uh stage two We'd recommend the off-road valving system here, which we'll show you, walk you quickly through the differences. So the passive design on the asymmetrical design, in other words, you got one fork that handles compression, one that handles rebound on the Explorer forks, technically is still noted as an open chamber fork. However, this compression side is passive. Uh, you'll be able to, let's see. Hopefully you can, yeah, you can see some light through there. So basically, this plunger, when you pl press down on the clickers, hopefully you'll be able to see some of that in there. Even when you press it all the way down, if you were to go all the way stiff, it's still passive. Um, it's not going to hold the fork up in the stroke. It's going to blow through. Um, you got that coupled with four roughly quarter-inch holes that basically bleed off on the compression side as well so a lot of those complaints that I just mentioned previously in the video there are associated with that lack of compression or more specifically the mid valve and it's just going to just blow straight through on there so that's a big issue uh, that's solved here's here's a more traditional style right this is where you're 16 and prior open chamber KTM forks came with a proper mid valve piston so on the bottom side is your compression stack and on the top would be a rebound stack so this handles the duty for both fork legs for compression and rebound primarily um, without getting into more technical jargon and detail that'll bore you to death um, so on the off-road valving system we have a four port piston we have a lot more bleed, uh, different taper design on the needle, uh, and then you actually have both compression and rebound. Symmetrical design, in other words, so you're going to have, just like your old school open chamber fork, you're going to have compression 
On the bottom, you actually have some low speed compression adjusters. On four port piston design here. Adjustable compression on the base of the fork. As you can see right there, it actually has considerable more bleed. Four port piston, it's gonna move a lot more oil, a lot more tunable, and compared to your stock non-adjustable bleed. So that's huge right there, as well as no holes. So you'll be able to run lower oil level. So it's uh, going to be much more plush. Still have plenty of bottoming resistance. I mean, this is an enormous capacity here to uh, not only give you a nice plush initial, but maintain good bottoming resistance too. So that's just a brief overview into that. And that kit is 449 for parts uh, and plus install and uh, fluids or consumables. So this is just to kind of give you a brief, quick overview. Um, we'd like to get some videos here and uh, show the stock and after the ORV, uh, the off-road valving system installed too. So stage three, uh, if you're really wicking it up, most guys will be able to get by. Um, you know, if you're faster, a little bit more aggressive, looking for a little bit more progressive suspension feel, the off-road valving system is gonna really going to be be the ticket for most guys however i mean keep in mind these are trail bikes and yes you can valve them and set them up to go fast but at, at the end of the day it's you know it still is what it is so especially with that pds um it's better than older generations however you have less fluid so the shock gets fatigued sooner it's a 46 millimeter body instead of a 50 the reservoir is much smaller and holds less fluid than the older ones. So, on to stage three, then the Exact Pro 5500, which is a twin chamber cartridge kit insert. So, it goes in there, it's a full, completely uh, separate set of inserts that goes in there and replaces this kind of open cartridge design here, open bath design. Um, that'd be just for guys who really want a woods bike chassis and uh, you know, more do more cross country or a really aggressive rider, so extreme bottoming resistance uh, and then overall uh, increased progression. Um, you know, that's about as good as you're going to get. Uh, there's other flavors out there too. I mean, we can do Owens if you can get them. That's the problem, right? You know, the supply chain is just absolutely crashed and you got ships off the port that can't even be unloaded. So, you know, if you can't get it, then it doesn't really matter. So anyway, I uh, hope that's just a really a quick, brief overview here for you. If you want to know more, just reach out info at motolabdirtbikes.com or check out our website, motolabdirtbikes.com or give us a call at 423-900-2233. And I'd be happy to discuss your options and or your questions and concerns. So, all right, hope everyone's doing well out there and get out there and Sharing some dirt this weekend. Hi, right, guys. Thanks.